All this work that we're doing, brothers, for this ministry, eventually is going to pay off. You better believe it, man. It's going to pay off like you'll never believe. Okay? And by the way, we're the highest value male on this planet. The men of the Lord. The men of this truth. The hopeful elect of Yahweh Barashim Shai. The highest value male there is. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and then glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us younger brothers. And peace and blessings, salutations, the hopeful they got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. Shout out to the hopeful like the believers, the listeners who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shema of Shai. And what I want to get into, all right, this evening, you know, is dealing with how, all right, and we just did the lesson, you know, how Eve, you know, hates Jake, you know, period. All right, and a lot of times the Lord, you know, is sending that confirmation, you know, by something else. Now, this is a lesson done by the elder brother Manata Zagba, GML South Carolina 08. Subscribe and be edified. And, you know, it's just another showcase, okay, of the hatred, you know, the deep hatred, you know, that Eve has for Jake, you know, and it's not, you know, just any Jake, you know, Jeep, uh, uh, Eve, you know, hates the average working man you know it's a deep hatred you know for the average working man and we're going to get into it you know and and like i said before you know hey we're, we're anthropologists okay so we, we're going to do a little anthropology you know and going you know because this goes into the study you know the behavior of people and cultures and one thing about it when dealing with a woman all you have to do is listen you know all you have to do is listen and you'll hear everything you need to hear, all right, to paint a, a true picture. You know, she, the, the woman gonna say a lot of BS. You know, she gonna present stories where she's innocent and she's, you know, the victim. And, you know, um, uh, 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 you know, she's gonna dress it up, okay? But if you listen, you know, bits and pieces of the real, <laughs> all right, the real person, all right, it's gonna always come out. All right, and that's why we should master listening, catching everything, okay? Because it's always going to paint the true picture. So in this, I think this clip like a minute or something, you know, I'm going to let it play. And uh, we're going to address, you know, some particular things that were said. You know, it won't be long. You know, we just hit the points, you know, and just address these things. And just confirmation, man, that there's a deep hatred, you know, that the woman, all right, has. Uh, 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 for Jake, man, the Israelite woman, you know, he has for Jake, you know. You had enough jurisdiction. You're not that important. Do you know who you got to be for me to do what you say? You ain't him like that. You can't tell me what to do because you ain't nobody. I don't let nobody ask niggas give me orders. But if you really him, if you really him like that, I do what you say. I'll do whatever you say. But you just ain't nobody. Listen to me. You somebody to your mom or probably to your children. You probably got friends and stuff that really give a fuck about you, but I don't. Not like that. Not like that to a degree that I'll be doing what you say. So now. Mm-mm. Nope. One of my favorite hobbies, reminding whole ass niggas that they ain't nobody so that they can have enough inspiration to go really work on themselves and become somebody worth being. Because a lot of them don't be nobody worth being. And sometimes they just need a motherfucker to remind them, hey, hey, stop that. Can we get married? Uh -uh -uh. Shalom. All right, so. You know, first thing, you know, she said, all right, is, um, you know, you're, you know, she's first off, she says Jake ain't nothing. 
All right. And she said that Jake is nobody for her to listen to. But if you him, all right, she'll do whatever, all right, uh, you say, if you're him. Now, as we study the, the, the decision making, all right, of Eve, <laughs> all right, in this captivity, when she's speaking about of him, okay, she's speaking about, all right, a degenerate, okay, she's speaking about either one of these trap niggas, okay, with money, all right, and, and let's just get into these things, let's just be real, all right, we, 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 we adults and we all come from different, you know, backgrounds and we done seen, you know, between us all, we done seen everything, okay, a, a woman like that, and you know them Jakes that's really getting money, they got options. And a woman like her, all right, those type of men just run trains on them, okay, and give them back to the streets. And see, this is one thing with social media. See, when your reputation was based on reality, you know, when, when your reputation was based on, you know, who you were in the community, you know, based on the people that really know you, Okay, you couldn't fake it like that. But see, social media allows these women, you know, who have been ran through, all right, because the men she talking about are him, you know, those trap boys with money, you know, athletes or whatever, and they have their way with these women, all right? we, I, You know, I done been, I, I know them guys, okay? I done been uh, <laughs> uh, G money to a few Nino Browns back in the day, okay? So I know them guys and, and them guys running through everything. Okay? And a woman like her is is, is just a, 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 a Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, <laughs> you know, something to do. Nothing of value at all. But she can run to the YouTube and try to oversell herself, you know, because it's called gaslighting. We're going to get into that too. Okay? And then another thing she's saying, well, if you him, you know, I listen, I do whatever you say. And these women, they be having all these expectations, okay? When they get on the internet and they voice all these expectations. If Dundriguez get off his antique couch, all right, and come put that lumberjack on her ass, okay? She gonna be in order, all right? She gonna be in order. That nigga can have no job, all right? Honeycomb milk dripping, okay? Uh, You know? Outside his mouth, all right. He straight off his antique couch, come smash her ass, okay. And, and he get the car whenever he want. Matter of fact, she'll go get another job to make sure he comfortable, okay. It, 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 it's a goddamn game, okay. And she's just trying to oversell herself, all right, to men and don't know no better. That's why you hear, you know, Jake asking what's her hobbies and you know, can we get married and you know. Men, that, that, you know, those simps and, you know, those green ass niggas that don't know no better. That ain't familiar with women like this. And they can get online and, and, and sell themselves, man. O oversell themselves, man. Okay? But we know the deal when it comes to these women, man. All right? And this ain't nothing but a little ratchet. All right? <laughs> a little ratchet bitch, man. Okay? This is all this is, man. Nothing spectacular. Okay? But just to go into the deep hatred, you know, that she got for Jake. Okay, well, let me get this gaslight. All right, so you go to what? what is a gas? You hear that term gaslight. So you go with gaslighter. It says a person who uses psychological methods to manipulate someone into questioning their own sanity or powers of reasoning. And the scriptures speak about that. Women gaslight. So the woman will make it seem as if you're not important enough. Okay, or that you're not, or you, or you don't have enough, or you're not on a level enough to deal with her. Okay, when behind the scene, like I say, it's all type of niggas running through these women. Okay, by the time these women hit the internet, they ran through. Okay, but then they present themselves as if you just got to be, you know, this superhero slash philanthropist. Okay, uh, uh, uh. You know, slash mogul, slash entrepreneur, slash porn star, slash, all right, bodybuilder, okay? <laughs> all right, slash lawyer to deal with them. Man, get your ass out of here, man. 
All right, he be gaslighting, man. Okay, we manipulate to get get men to question their worth. All right, because she said it. She said, "Look, you might be somebody to your mother, you might be someone to your children, or you got friends that care about you." Well, hell, as a man, that's all you really need. If you got children, of course, hey, <laughs> you're somebody to them, or you got guys that they, you know, your your your, your squad that hold you down. Okay. But the woman is, has been so overhyped in this society, you know, they manipulate men to if they, they're they not approved, you know, she pretty much putting it out. If you're not approved to my standard, you're nothing. I don't give a damn what you got going on. If you ain't approved according to my standard, you're nothing. Okay? And that's what a lot of women do. Okay? And get Jake to question themselves and doubt themselves and, and go out and try to achieve all these things for the approval of a woman it's played out man okay but the scriptures speak about a gaslighter so let's read this definition it says a person who uses psychological methods to manipulate someone into questioning their own sanity or powers of reasoning now let's get this in the gnt okay uh Let's get this in, um, let's see. I think it's a rock. Chapter 20, 25, 23. All right, this is the book of Sirach 25 and 23. All right, it says a bad wife will make her husband gloomy and depressed. Okay, constantly pushing like he ain't doing enough. You know, and it's just a woman in general. She doesn't have to even be your wife. You know, but these women that hop on the internet, you know, their whole objective is to try to put men, you know, in, in the depressed state. You know, so they can try to go out and overachieve for they sorry ass, man. All right. It says a, a bad wife will make her husband gloomy and depressed and break his heart. Show me a timid man who can never make up his mind because men have been gaslighted so much. You know, they begin to question their worth and their ability, man. And it says, and I will show you a wife who doesn't make her husband happy. So the scriptures speak about gaslighting. Do you know? The, 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 the woman manipulates the man to the point he has no confidence, man. He's not sure of anything. He's not sure of his worth, man. You know? <laughs> well, the scriptures speak about... The scriptures give us the game by everything. The scriptures give us the game, all right, from, from agriculture to Esau, Edom, okay, to these hoes, man. The, the, the scriptures give us game by everything, man. Okay? So let's um go from there because this is how Eve wants the man to be. Okay? This is first Ezra 4 and 18. It says, Yeah, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? Okay? And it says, and and and, and, and the woman, and that's why they because even with her, man, if you take them eyelashes off their makeup and their wig, okay, come on, man. <laughs> what you think? You, <laughs> you know, if you took off their makeup and them eyelashes, okay, and that goddamn wig, all right, and if she had to rock that little fro, okay, she she would look like a uh, 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 old uh, uh, Jackson Five, man. Okay, so she would look like. One of the spinners, man. Okay? The dramatics. One of them niggas, man. If you took all that off her, man. <laughs> okay? So they get dobbed up and glamoured up because they want men, all right, to go out of their wits because of, of, of a look or the, the way they shape. Okay? But these these are women. These, these the scripture call these light women, man. Okay? And it says in Latin... It says, uh, yeah, and if a man have gathered together gold and silver or any goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? And letting all those things go, do they not gape? And even with open mouth, fix their eyes fast on her 
and have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver and gold or any ungodly uh so like a, any goodly thing whatsoever and that's the woman's objective is to get you to be more into her okay than your purpose or your resources so she can get your resources man <laughs> okay and they're just a game that these women play man okay they try to get you to be more into them and turn loose your resources man <laughs> okay verse 20 says a man leaving his own father and brought um yep a, a man leaving his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleaved unto his wife he he sticketh not to spend his life um with his wife and remember neither father nor mother nor a country which the scriptures say that a man leave his mother all right and his father and mother and take on to a wife you know there's nothing wrong with that okay but when you start to go out your wits okay and you center your life around a woman okay you're going off you done made her idol man okay and the internet has made a lot of trash all right useless women idols man okay and it says he stick of not to spend his life um with uh with his wife he remember neither father nor mother nor country by this also you must know that women have dominion over you do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman and see the woman wants that dominion over the man you know and she said that, that her hobby is to remind niggas that they ain't nothing okay because if you're doubting yourself as a man, you know, you start to put women over you. You start to seek out validation for women. And by default, you put the woman over you, man. Okay? And we all been in different, you know, circumstances and situations, man. <laughs> okay? But, man, the American, you know, I'm so over the American woman, man. You know, it's like good grief, man. You know, it, it's not, it, it, you know, you don't even get aroused. You know, you like, you know, it's, it's nothing there. <laughs> you know, dealing with the, the, the American nigga woman, man. <laughs> okay. Just me speaking personally, man. It's like, uh, you know, it, it, no matter how, how fine they is or nothing, man. You just be looking at, you know, because you know that it, it, this shit is so chaotic, man. You know, you know, it's so toxic, man. <laughs> you know, it's not even it's, it's not even worth it, man. Okay? For the most point. You know, with brother, you know, move how you move. It says, he sticking not, uh, verse two, uh, 22 said, by this also, you must know that the women have dominion over you. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? And see, that's, just, that's what she's trying to manipulate. Men, she, she wants to manipulate. This is just... Uh, she just a representation of the mindset of many women okay and they want to get multiple men in this mindset okay to go out into the world and and and, and, and go and gather resources and bring them back to her man so she can have this certain lifestyle all right that's the game you know especially women you know that look attractive okay that, that's the game all right and it says um yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal and to sell upon the sea and upon rivers and look it upon a lion and goeth in the darkness. And when he have stolen, spoiled and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. You know, so men put themselves in all this type of danger. OK, <laughs> to do what, man, to impress a goddamn woman. And that's what that's the spirit Eve wants you in. Eve don't mind that you out here risking going to prison, all right, so you can support a lifestyle that she wants. She doesn't care, all right, that you doing all this dangerous shit. Okay, well you go to prison and get put to death. Okay, to fund her lifestyle, man. Okay, and you got a lot of Jason that don't mind doing that, man. There's a lot of niggas in prison or in the grave, all right, trying okay to impress the woman okay you know it says and look upon a line and go up in the darkness and when he has stolen spoiled and robbed he bringing it to his love wherefore a man love his wife better than father and mother 
Yeah, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sakes. Okay, and this is her main objective is to get men to be in the mindset of a servant for her sake. Okay, because she can get a few men to think like this and manipulate them to this point. Then she got some servants and resources just flow to her, man. All right. And remember, these these are women that are overselling themselves, man, because uh, uh, <laughs> these niggas been to handle, man. OK, are you trap boys? Like I said, these trap boys is really, really getting it in and running through these women, man. OK, and then and, and, and the average. OK, nigga around the hood is just, you know, <laughs> riding these women out. All right. Because that nigga ain't got to have nothing, man. OK. Yeah, and, and, and they been had these women, man. Okay, where well, they can jump on the YouTube and present themselves, okay, like if they just this this great value, okay, as if they just this great value, man. All right, play it out, okay. You still gonna have your simps falling for that madness, man. But that's why a lot of Jake is like, nah, man. You know, <laughs> nah. All right, Jake is opting out. Okay, it's not worth it. So let's get this way ended here. All right. <clears throat> Negro plea. This is Michael 7 and 10. It says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? You know, because the, the average woman, she doesn't look at Jake to be, she doesn't look, all right, as Jake as the son of God. You know, she doesn't look, you know, especially a working man. Like they don't, they 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 don't see nothing that they should be submissive to. You know, and this this society, uh, Esau has you know done a hell of a job, you know, in getting the the the, the women, all right, Eve, you know, to just have zero respect for Jake, man. You know, but we coming to the time, all right, that. The Lord is going to bring a lot of embarrassment and the shame, okay, to this society, man. And the woman finna get caught up in it. That's why, you know, it ain't the thing of, of being mad. Because we, are, when you understand what's coming, the suffering that's finna come, <laughs> you know, it's just like, okay, you know, we'll see. But there's just certain things, you know, that you just address, <laughs> all right, for edification's sake. And mainly for brothers, man, because you got younger brothers that... You know, they ain't that experience with women. And, you know, they look green to certain things, man. All right. And, they, and you know, hey, we, we as, 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 you know, because, you know, we, we a little brother to some and we big brothers to others. You know, so we give advice, you know, in the spirit, you know, because one thing about it, we're learning to be men. You know, the truth is we learn precepts. We learn to be men as well. All right. And then and, 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 and I'm gonna tell you about these hoes, man. Alright, they sit up, jump up and play these games like they innocent and they're delicate and you know, like they just floating around. I'm gonna tell you about these hoes, man. Okay? <laughs> I'm tell you, I'm telling you what what Jason, I'm gonna tell you what I seen, not what I heard. I'm telling you what I seen. Okay. So reading on it said, then she that is my enemy shall see it. All right, cause cause Eve is an adversary for the you know, the woman just has been weaponized, man. All right, and it's a deep hatred there, man. This ain't nothing we making up, and we just you know enjoy this back and forth, man. We just addressing <laughs> what it is, man. Okay, so then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. Yeah, she gonna see the righteousness, man. She hey, the, the Lord is gonna showcase who he's dealing with, man. That's why, brother, just focus on. Matter of fact, let me read this verse and read into it all right because as men this is what we're going through michael 79 it says i will bear the indignation of the lord yahweh bashimah shah because i have sinned against him so we understand as men we're in this position as israelite men we're in this position based on what we did man our shortcoming okay so we have to bear these things you know we have to bear you know being with no power in the earth okay we have to bear all the dysfunction, you know, that goes on. You know, we have to, you know, we, we in the midst of these things, man. Okay. And the Lord, uh, he put us in this for for a, a for learning. This is a punishment. It's also, 
you know, a, a, a teaching moment. Okay, so we have to bear the indignation of the Lord based on what we did, man. It's the Lord anger towards us, man. So we look at these things and, you know, all we can do in most situations is just nod our head, man. <laughs> okay, you know, and, and really just laugh it off, man, because we know what it is, man. Okay, it says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness, man. Okay, and leading up to the to the second coming of Yahweh Shai, the Lord, all right, is going to show great favor on his men. Okay, that's why I scripture speak about a man becoming more precious than fine gold. All right. And now it, it, that's why our main thing is men is Israelite men focus on the relationship with Yahweh Shai, man. Don't nothing else matter, man. As an Israelite man, don't nothing else matter but our relationship with Yahweh Shai, man. Whatever else, whatever else gonna be, gonna be, man. All right, we want favor with the king, man. <laughs> okay, everything else is played out. All right. Well, the only thing uh, we had to look forward to, man, is, is hopefully being a joint air with Yahweh Shai, man. Everything else is going to be what it's going to be, man. Yahweh Shai got everything else taken care of, man. Okay? I know, you know, especially younger brothers, man, you know, you be burning and, and different things. But, but, sh but show discipline, show restraint, and, and just be mindful, man. Okay? Be careful how you move, man. Because Eve is the enemy. Okay, there's a deep hatred. Okay, but when the Lord, all right, started to show favor, man. Okay, even when we get that power, because even in the time when we get that power, man, you don't be thinking about no goddamn woman, man. <laughs> okay, when if the Lord, if we one of those men that the Lord bestowed that power on, man, to get active out here, man, you're going to be thinking about no goddamn woman, man, especially no um, uh, leftover as American woman, man. Okay. Um, let's see and it says verse 10 it said then she that my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her with saying unto me where is the Lord thy power okay when the Lord showcases his power through his men the men that everybody shitted on man that's why you gotta embrace being the underdog man and just patiently wait brothers just patiently wait man you know take all this shit on the chin the disrespect you know, the woman don't even look at you. You come through, the, you know, like it's just zero respect, <laughs> you know, when you're out and about for the most part. You have a few, you know, women, little chicks that's cool or whatever, but for the most part, it's zero respect, but it's cool. It's good. Okay? <laughs> we we understand we're a part of, man. We're bearing the Lord's in the nation. And it says, where is the Lord our power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down, all right, as the mire of the streets, man. Okay? And the woman, told, you know, because they push this thing about Jake helping the woman when she, you know, get into the... Nah, man. Okay? No. It's that... that nah, man. Whatever happened to you, gonna happen to your ass, man. And we don't care. We, we're so beyond that, man. <laughs> okay? We're going back east, man. Okay, this shit in the West, we're done with everything in the West, man. <laughs> All right, we, that's how I said, I pray, he prayed for us because as he's not of the world and we're becoming like him, which means we're not of this world, which is of this society, man. The hell with this goddamn society, man. The people in it, is the hell with it, man. Okay? Hey, <laughs> so that's the point, man. Lord will you, brothers. All right, and... You so so edified till next time I say shallow one corn, y'all shallow. A Bible ball detail soon, shallow one.